All right, welcome back. In the last episode where we left off, we were almost about to fight another Spork monster to find out that that is actually the twin of the Spork monster we murdered, and we find out that the spell book has such great power and that we need to obtain it again. And uh, we are with Colonel Sanders in his house, uh, not for the reasons I guess we're hoping for yet, but we're, in, we're at Colonel Sanders' house, and what's happening is I'm trying, my character's trying to reveal his idea for a menu item that would be well to really wow Colonel Sanders. So in the last part I was saying, maybe reveal it because I highly doubt if you give the recipe to Colonel Sanders that KFC would allow a game to depict the Colonel taking your idea and running away with it. So I don't feel like keeping it a secret would be a good idea. I'm thinking about revealing it to the Colonel. Uh, you decide that you're as ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you could talk, before you could talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in head first. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. I present to you my original coleslaw. I don't even like coleslaw. Yeah, I don't like coleslaw. The uh, the shredded cabbage, the dish glis the shredded cabbage dish glistens on the light of Colonel Sanders' uh, Lux hideaway. I mean, why do I also have one of the Colonel's bowls? That's what I want to know. Magnificent! Together you chow down on the creamy slaw until a spoonful remains in the bowl. Oh my god. <laughs> this just feels like a lady in the tramp of coleslaw. Uh, do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so that I can admire the taste later and think back to this moment. Uh, you could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Uh, please, make yourself comfortable. I'll check back in just a moment. Alright, so not Lady in the Tramp, but still, that was... I don't know, almost kind of got my hopes up for the game. Uh, you realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. No, come on, why would I do that? Around the room are various items that you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item- oh, so this is like point and click now. Tap on an item to discover more about the Colonel. Uh, that must be where he keeps his secret recipe. Oh, so that's a safe. Uh, you think for a moment, what number is important to Colonel Sanders, then it dawns on you. As soon as you t No, I better not be going through his stuff. I better not be getting a game over off the bat. Inside, you find a single note. Uh... A chicken... Wait, can chicken... Prepare... Be prepared... Uh, tap on an item to discover more with the Colonel. That'll be- oh, that's supposed to be him as a baby. Uh, an adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor from the, uh, from the goatee and mustache combo he sports. You figure that must be Colonel Sanders himself. Uh, that, or maybe the drumstick that seems to be waving like a rattle. Uh, who frames a baby picture of just themselves? Probably the same type of person who would make their own face a logo of a company they uh, they founded. Am I right? Uh, tap on an item to discover more about the Colonel. Uh, the photo appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the pyramids of Egypt. Okay, I think he's supposed to be younger though in this game. So why is he an old man? Uh, maybe this is where he discovered one of the secret herbs and spices. Uh, tap on an item to discover more about the Colonel. That door opened. I kind of want to go through more of this stuff though. Uh, one of the frame photos shows an old man who looks a bit like Colonel Sanders standing with a friend. They hold fried chick- they hold fried chicken jumpsticks and appear to be, uh, cheersing them. Uh, you look closely to see that there's a short inscription. I wonder who my friend Pete is. Uh, tab an item. Okay, blah blah blah. Is this supposed to be an urn? Uh, you take a closer look at a large urn sitting on a nearby pedestal. Uh, there's a plaque on it. It's dusty, but when you wipe off the dust, you can read the inscription. It says, here lies the, the ashes of my past careers and business failures. I don't think, though, that those come in ash form. Poor guy. No, that's just weird. Uh, tap on an item. Well, we, we already know this. Uh, you gaze out the window across the vast lake and mountain range beyond. Oh, boy. 
I had a feeling the student would come back. Just then, ghost of student pops up. Are you thinking about heading into the world? Wait, heading out into the world on a quest to avenge my death? Wait, wait, I've never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? I could just tell you my name right now. It's, can't you see him in the middle of something? You open the window, and wait, you open the window or crack and the ghost of student is swept out with the breeze. Oh my god, the student can never, like, he always has a hard time. You notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on the corner of the table. When you pick it up, you realize that it isn't just realistic, but it's real. Taxidermy must have been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. Uh, a little note uh, clipped to the chicken's foot reads, The true state of bird is... Wait, the true state of the bird... Uh, great, the great state of Kentucky. Tap on another item. What is this? Uh, scented candle. Is this, that's supposed to be like his tie underneath the word scented candle. Is it, KFC, you making candles now? A scented candle, uh, you pick it up and try to identify the smell. Uh, power tool? Freshly, uh, freshly starched collar? Piece of wood floating on a lake? Summer of 69? Uh, no. It's one of the secret recipe ingredients. It's blank! Tap on an item to discover more about the kernel. Oh no, I have a feeling... Is there gonna be an option where I get to take his hair? Uh, a lock of silver hair is woven through the teeth of the comb. Upon further inspection, you realize that the hair uh, threading isn't just a silvery color but it's actually made of spun silver. Uh, tap on an item to learn more about the kernel. I mean, I think we already figured that out, so I think now we just go through the door. You open the door to Colonel Sanders' closet and find a row of his signature white suits hanging within. Uh, you take one off his hanger and try- No, I don't get- Why? The jacket is a bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in his scent. They say that homemade is where the heart- Wait, home is where the heart is. And... Home is where the heart is. It- Is this what they meant? Oh no. Before you can look any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he's been working on. And he wants you to taste it. You try and act casual until he asks you why you're wearing his jacket. I don't usually loan those out, but I must say, it does look good on you. Oh crap, the jacket! <laughs> uh, you forgot to take the jacket off. Uh, you decide now is your moment to make the big move. You tell them you're cold. You fess up and tell them the truth. I feel like, though, would this be too direct? I don't know. This is a hard choice for me. Tell them you're cold. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I was just getting a little cold and through this, uh, and thought this might warm me up. Colonel Sanders smiles and uh, scoots close to the fireplace. It's warm by the fire, why don't you come closer? Suddenly everything feels like it's moving so fast. Final exams are tomorrow. You should be thinking about what you're going to cook. Uh, I should be home studying. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run for the door. But the thought of leaving Colonel Sanders in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you pause. You stop yourself. Colonel? Mm. Yes, Colin. I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow. So does that mean he's he's liking my? He, does that mean he's liking me back? Uh, you talk late into the night and drift off into slumber. Dream sequence. Wait, so does that mean I fell asleep at his house? Dream sequence. Uh, z z z z z z z. Counting chickens as they fly by. You awake to a beautiful morning in Colonel Sanders' hideaway. Did you make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders? Only time will truly tell. Today is a day that could change the rest of your life. So does that mean if I confessed my feelings the night before, then that means I would get a good ending? Because I'm wondering now if those questions were determining what ending I'd get. Uh, you think about the new secret ingredient that you just learned about. Bigger blank. Just some jurisdictions. Bigger blank isn't even legal, but if it's the recipe, Wait, but if the recipe is a secret, how will they know? Colonel, are you, um, are you putting heroin or some kind of illegal drug in your chicken? I was making that a joke earlier, but now you're saying it's illegal. Oof. 
Oof, I think I, uh, I think I hear the police coming. Your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. He's holding a gorgeously plated breakfast, and your mouth waters at the sight of it. Here's a simple breakfast I just whipped up. Of, of, of course, Th does he eat fried chicken all day, every day? I'm concerned about your heart health, dude. Uh, you taste Colonel Sanders' food, and it takes you on a journey. When you return, he's waiting to ask you an important question. So, would you say we were the perfect match? How presumptuous. I know my English. My cuisine and your taste buds. That's it. Such confidence, such grace. Could he be the words? Wait, could he be the world's greatest chef to cookery? Flatter him. Uh, take him down a peg. Flatter him. Uh, you know, I think we might make a great team. A single tear begins to pool in the corner of his eye, and he gazes out the window. And with the right business partner, I know I can't fail. Business partner? Could he be thinking of you? It's all happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion and confused by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears, unable to speak. The only answer you can find is to run out the door and get home. There's still one more day of school after all. The University of Cooking School Academy for Learning awaits no more. You get home to find something very surprising. Your best friend is waiting for you. Where have you been? I... Because I had one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk to you about it, but I couldn't find you. I got worried that something had happened to you. Uh, it's okay. I was just... But now that it turns out that you're fine, I can finally get up to you to spend on a saga of Miriam. Sure, but uh, you will not believe what happened to me after school yesterday. I went on a date. I think I can believe that. Since I'd been partnered up with Clark, he asked me to go out with him. Of course, I told him you'd, be, you'd better keep your dials turned too polite and respectful. I'm not that kind of girl. Uh, but he was just interested in spending some one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me. So I said, yeah, sure, I can get to know a little metallic guy. Long story short, he took me skydiving with his friends, but things quickly spiraled out of control. Did she just say sky- yeah, that's what I was thinking. Did she just say skydiving as if that was a typical first date to go on with a talking pressure cooker? And now, I'm not really sure where we stand. Uh, you don't give Miriam time to tell her her whole story. However, bottling up is the details of your own night is just too much to bear. And I went on a date too, back to uh, Colonel Sanders' house where I spent the night with him. You what? Nothing happened, but the emotional connection was wowzers. I've never heard anyone say wowzers. Uh, oh, well, I only have one option. Miriam tells you to move on from this whole Colonel Sanders obsession and focus on school. Uh, if being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is wrong, why don't you be... Why don't you want to be right? After a short argument, you both agree to go on your separate ways. Wait, does that mean I lost my best friend? I mean, she's not my actual friend, but did I just lose my fictional best friend? When you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop, though he himself might not quite grasp that fact. Because, you know, he's Pop. Uh, what's a swirly? It sounds delicious. Oh, it's great. I'll order you up one right away. I'll have my swirly with sprinkles, please. Hee <laughs> hee, sprinkles is a dog and a treat. You can get a swirly dipped too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally the biggest person at school. I mean, facts. Uh, there is that horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school, but who would dare pick on such a gentle and beautiful creature? You've got some nerve, Colin, suggesting that I pick on a defenseless horse. Yeah, that was actually an asshole move of me. 
Uh, now you're twisting my words and I won't have it. Okay, maybe I was also twisting my own words, I guess. Uh, you clench your fist, but the injury from yesterday from the mixer accident makes you wince with pain. Uh, doesn't look like you can go on cooking like that. Might as well just give up. I'll never give up. Ever. Colonel Sanders arrives just as it appears things are getting close to boiling over. A naturally intuitive person, he senses that something has to be going on. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Colin, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this afternoon. Aren't you concerned about my hand, Colonel? Yesterday, I almost broke a nail winning so hard. Technically, I don't believe a winner has was decided. But your presentation was quite impressive. She was using the book! What is he doing complimenting her? But what about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? Oh, that, that, ooh. People are gonna take that out of context too. It was clear that you were passionate about how your food was received. And I think we're gonna learn more about the final day in the next part of the playthrough, so I hope to see you guys there. Yeah.